Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your muse, Tracy. I am here to inspire you and empower you to live the life of your dreams, to create on purpose exactly what you want in all areas of your life, to stop settling and to stop suffering. You are not here to suffer. If that sounds good to you, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, and in my coaching program, we take a deep dive into your subconscious programming or your belief system, and we do the work together to change the programming that is effectively covering up and masking your true nature. I will take you through the process of cleaning up your programming, integrating the creator belief system, releasing stored emotions from the past, as well as teaching you how to honor and process your emotions on an ongoing basis. Such an important key part of manifesting your emotions or guidance. So we're not trying to just ignore them. They're there to guide you. In this coaching program, we meet two to three times per week. And in between the sessions, you also have email access to me. You have homework to do on your own. It's a lot of handholding. It's an intensive month. I designed it that way. So we are creating real transformation, right? We're not just skimming the surface here. We're not putting band-aids on. We're going deep and creating real change. So you can go back to being, you know, your true nature, the, the essence of your true being, which is an effortless and unlimited creator. Okay. So if you're interested, you can leave me an email, uh, leave me a comment <laughs> or send me an email um, and I'll get back to you. And I also have a couple of free offerings that I want to mention, uh, a free mini course all about why it's even possible to manifest a specific person, if that's something you're interested in. Um, and really everything is going to involve specific person manifestation. So even if you're trying to get a job, well, that specific person is whoever is hiring you. So it's a great mini course to my intention there was to clear up the fundamentals so that you can stop questioning how it works. Does it work? Is it working? And you can get on with manifesting whatever it is that you want to manifest. I also have a seven day I am challenge to get you back into the habit of using your powerful I am to create not accidentally what you don't want, but more on purpose what you do want. So check that out as well. And let's get into the video. So today's video is all about the essence of being an unlimited creator. And it's, I'm just going to give it to you right out of the gate. No uh, leading up, no, no build up or anything. Just here it is. You are the essence of being an unlimited creator is your ability to choose your state of being. In other words, you choose how you think, feel, believe, act. You choose that. If you're not choosing those things, then who or what is choosing those things if you are not? Perhaps it's your 3D reality, your circumstances, or other people in your reality, which are circumstances, by the way. So if someone else or something else is choosing your thoughts, you know, or causing you to think a certain way, I guess is a better way of saying it, causing you to feel a certain way, causing you to act a certain way, then you are not a creator, but you are simply a reactor. Now, this is where I had, I wish that I had, you know, all these videos being edited. We'll get there. You know, things are growing and my offerings are expanding. My team is growing. Um, so we'll get there. But for now, um, pause the video. Of course, don't do this if you're driving, but if you're in a place, pause the video and write down the two words creator and then the word reactor. Just take a moment, write them down so you can see very clearly that there's just two letters that are moved around. Hmm, coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't believe in coincidences and perhaps you don't either. Well, then if it's not a coincidence, perhaps then it's just a message or a sign that these two things are of the exact same thing, just rearranged differently. What do I mean? What do I mean by this? So in psychology, there are terms, I think it's psychology terms. Um, you would say that your locus of control is outside of you 
if you're a reactor. And you would say your locus of control is inside of you if you are a creator, right? These two things are very similar, just slightly different. Simple differences to talk about, right? We can all very easily understand and talk about these things, but maybe not so simple differences to put into practice, right? What do I mean by that? It's very simple to say, yes, if I'm a creator, I decide what I think, feel, do, and believe. I decide. I understand how that makes me the creator of my reality. Okay, cool. And if I'm a reactor, I also understand how I am just allowing out there the, the circumstances, people, events to cause me to think, feel, believe, and act in certain ways. Right. So it's again, it's very simple to understand what I'm talking about. Maybe not so simple differences to put into practice. Right. But as I always tell you guys, everything you can you can develop any skill through diligence, through commitment, through practice, basically. How do you get good at anything? How do you get good at playing the piano or playing the guitar or playing a sport, tennis, soccer? How do you get good at anything? You start where you are and you practice. You make a commitment to yourself to create and cultivate a new habit and a new skill. The new habit is that you are the sole sovereign decider of your thoughts, feelings, and actions and beliefs. You are the chief in charge, the head honcho, the CEO. You get the idea. However many different ways you want to say that. You are the only one who gets to decide. Now again, Super easy to talk about, but let's explore some reasons why this might be challenging to implement or to, to actually put into practice. So some of the reasons, you know, you could be from past experiences, from childhood, you could be the type of person who is what some would refer to as a people pleaser, catering to other people's needs. If you make other people's feelings, needs, wants more important than your own, you will struggle to do this, what I'm explaining in this video, to be a creator. You will almost by default, by definition, be a reactor. So you'll need to employ a little bit extra work to change your habits, the way that you've always maybe moved through the world, the ways that you are comfortable, have been comfortable moving through the world right? Catering to other people's needs, ignoring your own. You can't be a creator if you're ignoring your own needs, wants, desires, feelings. You simply cannot. You'll have to work on changing this mode of being. Another challenge might be if you don't have full understanding of the law, the law of assumption and who you are and what 3D reality is. Just simply, you know, simply knowing that 3D reality is a mere reflection following you all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, but with a time delay, right? If you don't have that knowing, that knowledge integrated, you might struggle to do this because, again, it's easy to say, not so easy to implement when you still think that out there is separate from you, is unrelated to you. You will think if it's separate from you, you have to adjust yourself to it. Sim simple. You react to it. If you know that it is from you, then you can go back to creator mode. And if it's not what you choose, you simply create something different. Another reason, if you've tried this in the past and get, didn't get the results you were counting on, you might lack faith in yourself and struggle to do this thing that, again, is really easy to comprehend and talk about. It might feel challenging for you to actually do it right? You keep going back to, well, I've been doing this, but it hasn't been working. Probably you've been trying to do it and judging your results by out there and maybe judging a little too quickly, right? Remember, there's a time delay. There's a time delay. And then at some point, as you're looking for it to be out there, you're allowing it not being there to change the way you think, feel, and believe. You go back to 
reactor mode rather than staying firmly rooted in creator mode. Another reason, if you still have a lot of fears and negative thoughts and scenarios, in other words, you struggle to direct your mind or control your mind, and you may still buy into, you know, what the ego throws at you. In other words, you sometimes think that you are your thoughts. You, you take ownership and you believe, oh, you believe what your thoughts are. You believe what your ego is throwing at you rather than remembering you are not your thoughts. You always have a choice in which thoughts to believe and which thoughts to throw out like the old stinky, no longer useful garbage that is now messing up your beautiful reality, right? You always have a choice, but maybe again, you haven't quite practiced and integrated that and you still fall prey to what your ego throws at you. So this is exactly why I do the work that I do, because you see the concepts of manifesting are so simple and you can know about the concepts. You can believe in the concepts. The truth is simple and very clear and not difficult to understand at all. It's very simple to see that, yes, if I simply choose my thoughts, my feelings, my beliefs, my actions, and I make this my primary practice rather than setting out and reacting to all the things that show up in my reality, yes, I can see how more of what I want and desire would start to show up in my reality. This is not challenging to understand, but practicing it, implementing it, that could be a challenge. doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be, but it could be, and that doesn't mean that you're bad at this doesn't mean that you're less capable, doesn't mean that you're failing, or you are a failure. No, not at all. It probably most simply means you have a belief structure that is challenging you in implementing this very simple thing that would benefit you greatly. And if you keep just trying to do the simple thing and failing and not looking at the reasons why you're failing, what is behind that, then you pile on more complications. Rather than looking at the reason why applying this simple thing feels like a challenge and working there for a bit, doing some work on yourself, maybe reconnecting with your inner child and figuring out what your inner child experienced and was taught to believe and so on and so forth, processing those emotions. So let's be honest, we were all children. We all were programmed up to the age of seven with things that maybe, just maybe, we didn't choose. This programming is not your fault, but if you don't prefer it, this is your life and this is your reality. These are now the rules and you have two options really. Keep the rules that you didn't choose that are not serving you or do the work, change the rules to ones that are more in line with what you would love to experience in your reality, how you would love your reality to function, how you would love your reality to work, and how what you would love to experience. Again, it's simple to talk about. It could take some work to accomplish, but that's okay. It would be well worth your time in investing in this because your programming is stored in the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is responsible for creating 95% of your reality. If you think you're going to keep that 95% as is, you know, again, not the things you chose, not the things you now currently want and use your 5%, your conscious mind to robotically affirm your way into your desired reality. I don't know. It sounds, that sounds like a struggle. 5% versus 95%. This is what I want. The 5%, 95% is someone else's stuff, but I'm just going to keep that there because that sounds like hard work. <laughs> it is hard work, you guys, but this is how you get back to being an unlimited and effortless creator. So I would encourage you to look at where the power is and consider that if you change the 95% and get it shaped up to be more of what you want, more of what you would choose for you, yourself and your reality, then manifesting might just become more effortless in the direction of everything you want as it is meant to be, right? So all of this that I'm talking about in this, in this video is being more of a creator than a reactor, being more, you know, able to choose your state of being, being 
more able to choose your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, your actions. And basically, this is what we would also call living in the end. Because if you are choosing your thoughts, feelings, and actions according to what you want to think, feel, and do, it's going to be from your end. Living from the end is a skill you build up. And this is what my next group coaching session is all about. Lots more details coming out all about this. Stay tuned. I'm super excited to go through this um, course with you guys and to share all of the ins and outs of what it means and how powerfully it can impact your reality. And again, it is a skill. So we're going to go through and talk about exactly what needs to happen for you to master this skill. So stay tuned for much more information on that. And I also want to hear, leave me a comment down below. If you wrote down <laughs> reactor, creator, you had an aha moment, anything else you want to share, how good you think you are at being, you know, the one who chooses their thoughts, feelings, and emotions as a practice. Do you regularly practice this? Do you set out with the intention at the start of your day to really be the chooser of your thoughts, feelings, and actions and beliefs? Or do you kind of set out and let, let the day happen to you? Let the day sort of be upon you to impact you? Just notice. Just notice and then notice everything that we've talked about in this video, that I've talked about in this video. And and cultivate the understanding of, oh, yeah, I do kind of do it that way. I just kind of go out and see what's happening. And then that has an impact on what I think, feel and believe. OK, how could I do that differently? How could I have a very uh, intentional intention for the day? I am now going to feel this way. I'm going to live from my end. I'm going to feel as if I have the money. I have the job. I have the relationship. I have the love. I have the self-concept. I have the physical appearance. I'm going to set out um, in my day and start to feel this way. And I'm going to have the intention to hold myself there as best I can. It's a practice. It's a practice. Be easy with yourself. You've practiced the other way for a long, long time. So have some grace, some compassion for yourself as you're building this new skill just like you would with any other skill. You wouldn't expect to sit down at a piano and just because you read a book about piano playing, you wouldn't have this super high expectation that you sit down and you got it now. <laughs> so it's the same thing with this. Be reasonable with your expectations. Don't think that because you now decided I'm going to set out onto my day and hold this one state of being because this is what I choose, that you should be perfect and you should hold it all day with no challenges. It's a little unreasonable. So this, what I'm talking about is your, uh, first of all, realizing that if you're not choosing it, you're reacting and you're not really being the creator. So we we first realize that, ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. So I'm going to do something different. Now, when you choose to do something different, be easy with yourself. If you don't nail it on the first go, if it's not perfect on the first time around, right? Because if you are hard on yourself, you will very easily give up. This is how you get fatigue. You, you're too hard on yourself. And so you just go, okay, that didn't work. And you move on because you were unnecessarily hard on yourself. Sound familiar? So try to be easy with yourself. Try to have reasonable expectations about yourself so that you can keep going, so that you don't cause yourself to give up too prematurely. Be easy with yourself. Know that just trying this is progress. Just having the awareness and the intention to try it is progress. And every day, Every day, it should get a little bit easier, and that's progress. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to. I'd love to hear your comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Share the video if you want to send it to anyone who could benefit from this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.